Hi guys, your friend Gopika is here and in this video we will discuss the practice set 2.1. Okay, so this is the last, this is the only practice set in the chapter as seen for 2021 SSE batch because as you know 25% of the syllabus is removed. The practice set 2.2 is totally removed and all the Apollonius theorem, the acute angle and obtuse angle theorem. So all those things are removed and from problem set also the problems related to those topics are removed. So this is the last exercise for 2021 batch students okay but anyways in this channel I will cover all those things the reduced part also I will be covering so interested students can watch those videos others can just watch the things that they require for board exams okay so all other students who are preparing for some competitive exam or who are interested in max and who want to take up mathematics in future as a subject those people I recommend that they watch all the videos on the chapter because the removed portion is also important topics okay so let's get started with the practice set okay so the question one I have left it for exercise for you guys they are very simple questions in which you have to check if the uh, problems are Pythagorean triplets or not okay so we did many or uh, we discussed many examples are related to it so that part you guys have to do so let's start with question number two in the figure 2.17 that is this is the figure 2.17 angle m and p is 90 degree segment nq is perpendicular to mp mq is 9 mq is 9 and qp is 4 we need to find nq this is clear cut application of geometric mean theorem very simple nq square is same as product of mq and qp and hence nq square is equal to 9 into 4 9 fours are 36 nq is square root of 36 and that is same as 6 so nq is 6 okay a very simple application same type of question we discussed in the solved example also again in practice that you have a similar question okay so let's see the next problem now. okay so here in the figure 2.18 angle QPR angle QPR is 90 degree angle from the 90 degree vertex towards the hypotenuse we drew uh, perpendicular is drawn okay from from the 90 degree that is from P towards the hypotenuse PM perpendicular to QR is drawn and QM are uh, collinear points in the order PM is 10 QM is 8 we need to find QR okay we need to find length of this hypotenuse in short hypotenuse of the triangle QPR okay since it is opposite to 90 degree so again we are using geometric mean theorem by which we will find MR first okay what geometric mean theorem says PM is geometric mean of QM and MR okay so PM square is equal to QM into MR using that equation we will find MR and to find QR we will add QM and MR okay so by theorem of geometric mean pm square is equal to qm into mr substitute the values and we obtain mr to be 100 upon 8 and that is same as 25 upon 2 and that is same as 12.5 so mr is 12.5 then qr should be qm plus mr 8 plus 12.5 that is 20.5 again an application geometric mean theorem okay very simple application actually all right so let's see the next problem question 4 see figure 2.19 find rp that means we need to find the hypotenuse of the triangle since angle rsb is 90 degree rp should be the hypotenuse and ps what is ps okay this side ps using the information given in the triangle psr so what information they have given angle SRP is 60 degree angle SPR is 30 degree and angle PSR is 90 degree and they have given that SR is of length 6 units okay so here clearly we will be using the 30 60 90 degree property so SR is half of RP why SR is half of RP because SR is the side opposite to 30 degree so by 30 60 90 degree theorem side opposite to 30 is half of hypotenuse so SR is equal to half into hypotenuse here hypotenuse is RP substitute the value of RP okay RP is what we have to find sorry substitute the value of SR 6 is equal to 1 by 2 into RP 
Now 2 will get multiplied to the other side. So RP is 6 into 12 that is 6 into 2 that is 12. Okay. So hypotenuse is 12 units length. Next we need to find PS. Now what is PS? Side opposite to 60 degree. Side opposite to 60 degrees root 3 by 2 into hypotenuse. That is root 3 by 2 into RP. Root 3 by 2 into 12. And hence root 3 into 6. That is 6 root 3. Okay. So again a very simple application of 390 degree theorem. So let's see the next example. Okay, so this is the fifth question in practice set 2.1. And here this is fill in the boxes type. So find A, B. For finding A, B and B, C with the help of information given in the figure 2.20, complete the following activity. So here you have a figure that is triangle ABC where ABC is angle angle ABC is 90 degree hypotenuse is root 8 uh, of length root 8 and AB and BC are congruent sides that means this is an isosceles right angled triangle okay so first thing is AB is equal to BC so the reason will be it's given it's from the construction or it's from the diagram so this is the given part next angle BAC is equal to so th since these two sides are congruent by isosceles triangle theorem by isosceles triangle theorem angle BAC is equal to angle BCA okay and one more thing we know is since the angle AB is 90 degree and rest two angles are of equal measure that means both that angle is of measure 45 degree okay so it's a very simple calculation that you do. By isosceles triangle theorem, both the angles are equal of equal measure. Now by sum of angle addition property, sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So angle BAC plus angle BCA plus 90 degree is 180 degree. That means sum of these two angles is same as 180 minus 90, that is 90 degree. If two angles have same measure as sum is 90 degree, that means both of them should measure 90 upon 2, that is 45 degree. Okay, so since these two angles are of equal measure and that is 45 degree. Hence, now by 45, 45, 90 degree theorem or property of a triangle, we can say that AB equal to BC is equal to 1 by root 2 into the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is AC over here. Okay, that is same as 1 by root 2 into root 8. Okay, now root 8 can be written as 2 root 2. Why? root 8 is 2 cube or it is 4 into 2 is 2 square so 1 2 will come outside and 1 2 will remain within the root so 1 by root 2 into 2 root 2 now root 2 and root 2 will get cancelled and what will remain is 2 so AB is equal to BC is equal to 2 is of length 2 units okay simple now let's see the next problem Okay, so this is the sixth example in practice set or the sixth question in practice set 2.1 wherein you have a perimeter or you have a square and we need to find perimeter and side of the square. Okay, and what they have given is the diagonal. So if you draw a square, all its sides will be of equal length A and AC is the diagonal. Length of diagonal is given as 10 centimeters and what we need to find is length of the side and perimeter. Perimeter means outer length of the figure. Okay. So to find AB uh, AB or BC, find any of the side, the rest sides are of same value anyways, any which ways. And then you can find the perimeter by adding it four times or just multiplying it by four. So let quadrilateral ABCD be the square with side A centimeters. Okay. Let the length of its side be a centimeters and diagonal 10 centimeters now consider this triangle ABC so every angle in a square okay every vortex of the square is 90 degree measure is of 90 degree measure so this angle a d b c all those angles have are right angles all angles of a square are right angle hence we can apply Pythagoras theorem to this triangle so in triangle ABC, 
Angle ABC is 90 degree, that means the triangle is right angled. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. AC square is 10 square and that is equal to AB and BC are of same length. So, A square plus A square. So, 100 is equal to 2A square. That means A square is same as 100 upon 2, that is 50. Now, A is square root of 50. 50 is same as 25 into 2, that is 5 square into 2. So, 5 comes outside and 5 root 2. So, side is equal to 5 root 2 centimeters. Okay. This is one way of doing it. Another way is just how we did the previous activity wherein we use the isosceles triangle theorem. So, here this triangle if you observe AB and BC are of equal length that means it is an isosceles triangle and hence the angle BAC and angle BCA are of 45 degree measure. So, this triangle is a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle and if you apply that property in two lines you will get the answer okay so if you write in that way then you need to uh, convince or you need to write enough points to make sure that these two angles are 45 degree okay so mention the isosceles triangle theorem all those steps you need to follow and then once you do that by 45 45 90 degree theorem we know that a b is 1 by root 2 into hypotenuse that is 10 so 1 by root 2 into 10 you will get this answer as 5 root 2 ok so there are two ways in which we can do this problem next once you find the side as 5 root 2 centimeters now we can find the perimeter using the formula 4 into side that is 4 into a, 4 into 5 root 2 and that is same as 20 root 2. Okay. So, the outer length is 20 root 2 centimeters. So, so side also we found, perimeter also we found. So, there are two ways to find the side either by Pythagoras theorem or by 45, 45, 90 degree theorem. So, whichever you find simpler to understand and remember accordingly you can follow the uh, methods okay anything is fine only thing is you mention the theorem that you're using and then proceed that's what is important okay so let's see the next problem this is question number seven in practice at 2.1 so in the figure angle d f e okay angle d f e is 90 degree f g from the 90 degree vertex towards the hypotenuse a perpendicular is drawn. So, FG is perpendicular to ED. GD is 8. Okay, GD is 8. FG is 12. So, this perpendicular length of the perpendicular is 12. First, find EG. Next, find FD and find EF. Okay. So, if you see first thing what we need to find is EG. So, GF, GD, EG. There is only one theorem which links these three things, the perpendicular and the two segments of the hypotenuse and that is geometric mean theorem, direct application. So 12, GF is geometric mean or FG is geometric mean of EG and GD. Therefore, FG square is equal to EG into GD. Substitute the values, FG is 12. GD is 8, 12 square is 144, so EG is 144 upon 8 and that is same as, if you divide by 8, then you will get 80, okay. So EG is 80, once you find EG, now next we need to find FD, so finding FD is very simple, the triangle FGD is 90 degree, triangle GD, GF you know, so you can find the hypotenuse using Pythagoras theorem. Why F T is the hypotenuse? Because that is the side opposite to 90 degree angle. So here 90 degree angle is angle F G D. Okay, so let's let's see the next. Okay, so this is the next part. So E G I found in the previous step, so I wrote it here. F D is triangle F G D is right angle triangle. Hence, by Pythagoras theorem, F T square is equal to F G square plus G D square, and F G is 12 square, G D is 8. So, 8 square, so 12 square plus 8 square is 144 plus 64 and that is same as 208, okay. 208 is same as 16 into 13 and 16 is, or if you factorize, then you will get 4 into 4 into 13 
and 4 square into 13 that means 4 will come outside and 13 will remain within the root so ft is 4 root 13 okay so fd also you found now third part we need to find ef so fg we uh, have they have already given eg we found in the first step that is 18 so we can find ef again by pythagoras theorem okay so like that okay so we need to find ef over here so okay this is the third part not the second part i actually numbered it wrong this is the third part ef now triangle FGE is right angle triangle hence by Pythagoras theorem EF square is equal to FG square plus EG square. Now FG is 12 and EG is 18 so squaring both 12 square is 144 18 square is 324 when you add you will get 468. So EF square is same as 468 that means EF is square root of 468 factorize it you will get it as 6 into 6 into 13 and then EF is 6 root 13. So EF also we found 6 root 13. So all three parts we found. First we found EG 18, FT 4 root 13 and EF 6 root 13. Okay. So the seventh problem is over. So next let's see the next problem. Okay. So this is question number 8. Find the diagonal of a rectangle whose length is 35 centimeters and breadth is 12 centimeters. Okay. So you have a rectangle length is 35 centimeters breadth is 12 centimeters so again here we have if we draw a diagonal we will obtain a right angle triangle since all angles of a rectangle are right angles so abc is a right angle hence triangle abc is right angled triangle with angle abc 90 degree so applying the pythagoras theorem we can say that ac is the hypotenuse so ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square substitute the values AB is 35, BC is 12, so 35 square plus 12 square and this is same as 1, 2, 2, 5 plus 1, 44 and that is same as 1, 3, 6, 9. Now AC square is equal to 37 square, that is AC is square root of 37 square, hence AC is 37 centimeters. Okay, very simple problem. Similar type we did in the solved examples part where we discussed diagonal of a square. Okay, here we are discussing diagonal of a rectangle okay so let's see the next problem okay so this is question number nine here we have to prove okay in the figure m is the midpoint of qr m is the midpoint of qr that means pm is the median on rq prq is 90 degree prq is 90 degree prove that pq square is equal to 4 pm square minus 3PR square okay so here we will start with RHS and try to arrive at the LHS so before starting with the equations that we need to prove first let's use the information given in the diagram or given in the question so first thing what they have given is M is the midpoint that means what RM is equal to MQ is equal to RQ upon 2 okay this is the observation that we need to make M is midpoint means RM and MQ are of equal length and M divides RQ in two parts, equal parts. So RM is equal to MQ is RQ upon 2. Okay. Next, in this particular triangle PRM, if I apply the Pythagoras theorem, PM is the hypotenuse. Hence, PM square is equal to PR square plus RM square. That is the first equation. Next, I apply Pythagoras theorem to the bigger triangle PRQ where PQ will be the hypotenuse because that is the side opposite to 90 degree. So PQ square is same as PR square plus RQ square. Okay. So we obtain question 1 and 2 using Pythagoras theorem to two different triangles. Now start with the proof. To prove that PQ square is equal to 4 PM square minus 3 PR square, consider the RHS 4 PM square minus 3 PR square. Now what is PM square? From equation 1, PM square is same as PR square plus RM square. So substitute the values over here using the equation 1. So 4 into PR square plus RM square minus 3 PR square. This is from 1. Okay. Next 4 will get multiplied to PR square also and RM square also. So 4 PR square then write the minus 3 PR square near to it. So 4 PR square minus 3 PR square is square plus 4 into rm square 
okay yes now what will be 4 p r square minus 3 p r square 4 x minus 3 x is x similarly 4 p r square minus 3 p r square is same as p r square since 4 minus 3 is 1 p r square is common so 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 so p r square remains p r square plus 4 now r m square i replace it by r q upon 2 why since m is midpoint of r q r m is same as r q upon 2 so replacing r m by r q upon 2 so 4 into r q upon 2 the whole square so p r square plus 4 into now here the square is for numerator as well as denominator so numerator will get squared denominator also will get squared so 2 square is 4 so 4 into r q square upon 4 now that is 4 and 4 will get cancelled so p r square plus r q square now what is p r square plus r q square check the equation 2 it is same as p q square ok so the same as p q square and that is the left hand side hence proved ok so first thing is writing using the given part and forming two three equations and then starting with the proof ok now suppose you wrote these things and you forgot to uh, apply Pythagoras theorem or anything these steps later once you reach here mention this equation over here that by Pythagoras theorem this is so and so and hence this is equal to pq square ok but mentioning it is important it's not always that before starting itself you will know that we are going to use this that is not uh, possible always so once you start when you remember that oh I had to mention it here so mention it here itself wherever you are writing there itself you write now check in this triangle p r square plus r q square is same as p q square by Pythagoras theorem and hence r s is equal to l h s okay this equation you can mention here also so that's it okay so now let's see the next problem okay so this is the 10th question from practice set 2.1 walls of two buildings on either side of a street are parallel to each other okay so if you see suppose these two are the two buildings okay their walls are parallel to each other a ladder 5.8 meter long is placed on the street such that it its top just reaches the window of a building at the height of 4 meters now suppose this is a ladder from the street it is kept on the uh, supporting towards the first building then it is reaching the window at height 4 meters that means from the ground it is reaching 4 meter height at a height of 4 meters next when the same ladder is turned towards the other building it reaches height 4.2 meters ok so what we need to find is width of the street width of the street means this distance between these two buildings is the width of the street ok now one observation that we make here is any building which stands straight on the ground will be perpendicular to the ground ok perpendicular to the ground means at the base it is forming a right angle triangle so at this base also it is forming right angle so this building also at the base it is forming a right angle triangle ok so this ladder is the hypotenuse of the two right angle triangles that are formed since at the base it is right angle if I join it like this you can see two right angle triangles are formed ok so if I find base of these two triangles and add them then I will get width of the street ok that is the theory that we will apply so to apply the Pythagoras theorem we need 90 degree triangle and that 90 degree comes with the fact that any building standing straight means it is perpendicular to the ground at which it is standing or it will form a 90 degree at the base ok so this height is 4 meet, four point two four 4 meters this height is 4.2 meters hypotenuse both of the triangles have same length hypotenuse why because the ladder is same right so length of the ladder will remain same so here also it is 5.8 meters here also it is 5.8 meters so this base side we will find using Pythagoras theorem and then we will add both the bases to find the width of the street okay so let's see the problem now okay so draw a diagram like this showing this as building 1 this is building 2 W1 is the window till which the ladder reaches building 1 B1 is base of building 1 B2 is base of building 2 and W2 is the window where ladder reaches building 2 ok 
so what they know here the ladder reaches at a height of 4 meters that means b1 w1 is 4 meters on this building when the ladder is kept the ladder reaches at 4.2 meter height so w2 b2 is 4.2 meters and in both the cases ladder is same so length of the ladder is 5.8 meters okay now we need to find b1 s and we need to find b2 s okay so right, first thing b1 and b2 are base of the buildings w and w2 are windows of buildings where the ladder reaches next angle w1 b1 s is equal to 90 degree and angle w2 b2 s is equal to 90 degree why buildings are perpendicular to the ground okay if they are not perpendicular it will it will not uh, it will not be standing straight okay it's difficult to walk on leave on that building if it's standing if it's not standing erect or if it's not standing straight so buildings are perpendicular to the ground now in triangle w1 b1 s so in this first triangle this angle is 90 degree that means w1 is the hypotenuse so w1 s square is equal to w1 b1 square plus b1 s square substitute the values this is 5.8 b1 w1 is 4 we need to find b1 s so b1 s whole square in the next step is same as 5.8 square minus 4 square 5.8 square is 33.64 minus 16 that is same as b1 s the whole square is equal to 17.64 okay that is b1 s is equal to square root of 17.64 and that is same as 4.2 okay next similarly we apply Pythagoras theorem to the second triangle w2 b2 s and do the following steps w2 s square is equal to w2 b2 square plus b2 s square substitute the values and then what you will get b2 s square is same as 33.64 minus 17.64 and that is same as 16 and hence b2 s is 4 meters okay so here b1 s is 4.2 meters b2 s is 4 meters when you add both you will get width of the street that is 8.2 meters okay it's a bit lengthy otherwise it's very simple understanding the fact that two right angle triangles are formed and what we need to find when they are saying width of the street that means distance between the two buildings actually okay so that's it okay students so that was the last example in your problem set or in your practice set 2.1 and I'm done with the video if you like the video please share it with your friends and please subscribe the friend to channel and you can also follow us on Instagram and if you have any queries regarding mathematics please write in the comment section or DM us on Instagram we will respond as soon as possible thank you Bye.